Conquest of America. We are still a few days out from the American coast, so it's a good time to review our invasion plan. Firstly, a Kriegsmarine escort has spotted the American fleet approaching from this direction. With your aircraft limited to operating from the glass Zeppelin, you would be unable to properly engage the American ships, so I recommend staying well away, permitting the Kriegsmarine to do their job. Next, your two main objectives are Washington, D.C. and New York. However, newly promoted Reichsmarshal Rommel still thinks it's a bad idea to assault these locations directly. He recommends a cautious landing here, in Canada. Expect the Americans to respond violently to your landing. Securing an airfield quickly should be a priority, but ultimately you will need to subjugate the entire U.S. eastern seaboard before the next phase of the invasion can begin. There's much work to be done against this final enemy of Germany. Good luck. Thank you very much. Ooh, Conquest of America. I am looking forward to this. All right. We got a new hero, counter battery fire. Okay, I guess. All right, let, let's have a look at the map because this is going to be interesting. We can deploy here. We can deploy down here. The American fleet is down here, so I am not deploying anything down here. We are deploying up there. We have quite a large fleet to deal with them. We have a sub all the way up there. That's going to take a while to get down and join in. We have a couple of subs there. A sub there. What are these guys? Italians. A quadruplo. Hmm. Okay. Kind of sucky guys. Kind of sucky guys. Okay. But they need to pull up and get away from uh, from the American uh, fleet, I think. So they'll come up and land with us up here because I don't think we can land down here safely. We need to land up here as, as Rommel, he pointed out. Uh, undeployed units, we have quite a lot. Well, all of our units are undeployed and uh, we need to upgrade, reinforce, etc. Let's have a look at uh, what we can get. Nothing there. For tanks, there are quite a few new, four new tanks. A Flam Panzer, which is quite nice for cities, but I don't think we need it. The Panther G, uh, let's compare it to a Tiger one, which is what we have now. So it's a little bit better on the heart attack, a little bit worse on the defense but it moves faster so i would say that's a pretty nice upgrade it has a little bit less ammo but that's okay i guess then there's this guy the panzer 4j it's a little bit weaker on everything but it also costs a slot less and then there's the tiger 2 which is a lot more powerful in every way except that it costs two more slots and it moves slower. I don't think we can afford to move slower. I'm not sure though, but it, damn it's nice man. 30 heart attack, 29 uh, ground defense, 10 initiative. That's a very nice tank. That's a very nice tank. We're gonna have to look into that. Then we have a couple of new scouts or recons. Uh, let's compare. That's way worse in soft attack. Better in ground defense, less initiative, moves slower. And then there's you. You move eight as well, which is good. Much better in hard attack. Quite a bit worse in soft. Uh, better defense though all round and initiative so that's interesting anti-tank we have we're currently rocking the elephants right aren't we yeah elephants 
So 88 centimeter. Hmm. Why did I put a flum panzer in my basket? I don't want that. Uh, so you're a little bit worse all around, but you're a lot cheaper. You're a lot cheaper. Stug 4. Quite a bit less hard attack and defense. Mm, Panzer, but it's also too cheaper on the unit front. Or the uh, core slot front. We have the Panzer, which is also a downgrade. Okay, the Yacht Panther, which is it moves faster and has more initiative, a little bit less defense. All around basically the same, except that it moves faster. And then there's the Hetza, which is one slot cheaper than the Elephant. It's a little bit worse all around though, but it does move one faster. Okay. Anti-air. We have a Gepard. We are currently rocking the 88s. Wow, that's a huge downgrade. Uh, that's a big upgrade on the air defense. It's also expensive. And cost one more slot. And then the Möbelwagen, which is a, just a major downgrade. Major downgrade. All right. Uh, artillery. Nothing new. I guess we're sticking, sticking with the Hummels. Fighters. We have a new, a couple of new BF-109s. Ooh, and the Messerschmitt 262A. That is awesome. All right, let's select you. Uh, you are a little bit better in the air attack. You're a little bit better all round, and you cost the same amount of slots. Uh, but you're hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Okay. Ah, but we it's fuck wolf that we have. Not BF 109Gs, so it's still pretty much the same. It has a little bit less initiative and a little bit less air defense, but it has the same air attack, but it's two slots cheaper, which is nice. The um, Messerschmitt 163B is quite a bit better in the air attack and air defense and initiative, but it only moves nine slots and it costs an extra or nine uh, hexes and costs an extra slot. That's not, I'm not a big fan of that. Then we have the uh, 190D9 variant, which has better air defense else is the same okay it cost the same amount of slots and then we have the Messerschmitt 262 uh, 22 on air attack 20 on air defense it moves one further has more initiative it is expensive though with seven slots but that just might be worth it Attack bombers. We have a. We're using this one now. That's better on the. The, the Fuck Wolf 190G is much, much better, of course, on the air attack and can actually air attack and on the air defense. Uh, and a little bit worse on the bombing of infantry, but. Hmm. That might actually be interesting, but it costs a slot extra as well. And then we have 
Strat Bombers. I don't really use Strat Bombers that much. This one is quite interesting. I think it's the JU-188A or the it's the Hinkle I have right now, I think. So, with this new TA-400 is worse at ships, which is mainly what I would want to use it for, but it's much better at defending itself and moves further, but it's also much more expensive. So, yeah, I think I will reinforce, upgrade, replace, etc. And uh, then I'll be right back. Right, so we have upgraded and deployed everything. So let's have a look at what's happened. Uh, first of all, we don't have that many infantry units anymore. We have four plus the Italians. So we have our very experienced Grenadier. We have a Pioneer, well, three Pioneers. So in the reserves, I have quite a bit of uh, infantry here. Uh, we have our five tanks, which have been upgraded to Panther Gs. So let's just take a look at that. Uh, before we had the Tiger Ones, and now we have the Panther Gs, which take up the same amount of slots, but they move one further. They have a little bit more heart attack. Uh, two more, so when I have 25, and they have one less air defense, which I'm okay with. So that's what happened with those. We have five of them. Then we have our two uh, recon units, which have been upgraded to these guys. So we had these before, and now it's these guys. So we have less uh, soft attack, more hard attack. More ground defense, more air defense, and more initiative. So that's nice. Then there's the Italian uh, anti-tank there. And then we have downgraded our elephants to Stooks. So before we had the elephant here, which costs six slots. Uh, we've downgraded that to the Stook, which has 23 hard attack instead of 30 of the elephant. It has 21 Ground defense is 26, uh, so it's overall a downgrade, but it moves further, and it costs two slots less, which was the main thing that I needed, but we have uh, three of them. So I could actually upgrade two of them to elephants, but then they would move slow, and I don't want that. Uh, to upgrade two of them to elephants and sell one, but I don't want that. Uh, then we have four Hummels deployed. Nothing has happened to those. One of them was in the reserves. We've pulled that in. Uh, then we have one of our anti-airs. The two others are in the reserves. We have the Italian anti-air, which sucks. And then we have our fighters. Now, I have upgraded all... Uh, three of our fighters to 190D slash nines or dash nines. Uh, so that's whoops, pretty good upgrade. Uh, so before we had the 190As and now they have the Ds. So they cost the same in uh, slots, but they have a little bit more defense and a bit more uh, hard attack. So they have two more air defense. Uh, and then our our attack bombers, they are basically the same. Well, they are the same. Uh, now, we have some undeployed units because the Gustav can't deploy on water. And the Messerschmitt 262s, which I really wanted, they can't deploy it to our carrier, to the Graf Zeppelin. So, once we get an airfield either here or here, we can deploy our Messerschmitt 262s. And hopefully once we take a supply point here in New York, we can deploy the Gustav. Uh, I don't know if we can, but I'm not going to sell it or put it into the service because it's just too good. I really want it. 
So hopefully we can deploy that here in New York when we uh, kind of establish a bridgehead there. So that's what happened. Let's end deployment. Uh, yes, we. That's fine. That's those two. And we hope that they can join in on the battle later. Okay. So let's start by moving the Italians up this way. Yeah, they just need to get out of the way, really. And. Our subs, they're going to dive and pull back, I think. Um, do have a sub down here as well. Uh, so, yeah, I don't want you to attack any of that. So you come over this way. Uh, we'll send this destroyer down to run a bit of interference, I think. Now we need to get these guys destroyed and this guy destroyed as fast as possible because I don't want them to attack my subs and I don't want them to attack my ground units. So let's fire on you. I took two of them and we'll pull our fleet towards the north because... I think we need to do that. Uh, let's pull you up here, fire. Pull you up here, fire on that. Okay. Pull you in here, fire on that. See, there's this one up here too, and that's actually quite important to get down. So let's just focus fire that a bit. Uh, we'll move you up here. Zero two. Zero three. Ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. There are ships in the harbor there as well. I think that's all our ships move more or less. Uh, let's pull you up this way. Let's pull you up here and destroy that. And that means that you can move down. Uh, everything except the Graf Zeppelin has moved now. All right, that's fine. Then we want to move this stuff forward. I have some pioneers in the front line here to go and take care of that uh, bunker. And I'm basically just gonna use all our planes as cover for our land units and for the Graf Zeppelin. And I think the Graf Zeppelin will move up here. And then we'll stick you on top of that. You up here, and the third fighter down here, 
Uh, that wasn't a fighter. Let's pull you back. I want the fighter there. And then we can stick some planes on top here to try and discourage the Americans from bombing our wonderful units. Now you guys have moved, everything has moved here. All right, that's the turn. All right, here comes the Allied Air Force or the American Air Force. A Marauder didn't do much, luckily. That didn't do anything. Good. That did one. I can live with that. Nothing. Good. Right. Two, two. I can live with that. In zero two, that's nice. I basically want to get rid of their destroyers and then I can start working on their capsule ships. Ouch, something hurt there and there. All right. 46th type 19 type 1934A is a survivor. I guess that's one of our ships. Uh, so the, yeah, you are a survivor. Let's do the ships first, and then we'll worry about the rest. Right, that was pretty nice. Um, let's finish you if we can. Damn it. That means you're finishing it. We are not doing the damage that is promised. That was better. All right. Uh, could go down and do one one, but I think I'd rather send you up this way. Okay. Got some more of their ships down. And down here, you're a destroyer, aren't you? Uh, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, destroyer. Right, that means you're heading back. You haven't done anything. I think we will do this. All right, that took that down to two, nice. Zero, one, I'll take that. Have uh, all our ships moved? No, the Bismarck hasn't moved. All right, there's one of his ships down again. Nice. Uh, Admiral Hipper hasn't moved. 
Where are you, Admiral Hipper? 3 1, that's not good. 0 2, that's nice. And you haven't moved. 4 1, that hurts. And then the Glyph Zeppelin hasn't moved, but that's okay. Oh, and one of our subs hasn't moved. You need to come down here and start working on that guy. On the 111th New York. Can I get anything in front? I can. Let's send you up here. Bombard that so that that destroyer can't get in and start playing with our sub. Okay, land units. Well, you just keep moving upwards, the Italian guys. And then pioneers will come in and land. Pioneers will come in. Uh, wait, I think we'll take the Panther G instead and land there. And then you can land there. You can't attack, unfortunately. I think we'll start landing some units up here as well. Another recon. Send that recon down here. This. Uh, wait. If we can get you in here, and then get a Hummel. We have a Hummel. A Hummel in there. Grenadier, Hummel, Stug, Hummel, uh, Pioneer, Stug, Panther. You can come up there. Stug. Black. Do we have any land units that haven't moved? You've landed, but you can move. Uh, these guys have landed, I think. That's everything. All right, Graf. You come up here. Let's see, one seven, that's actually decent. So three. Let's take one of their aircraft down at least. And then actually I want you should be in here. And then we do that. And that's all our planes moved. We took down one aircraft. And that's the turn. Ooh, six. Ouch, that hurt our Panthers. Ooh, four, ouch. And four. Ow. I have a lot of air. A lot of air. Ow, that fort, coastal fort was nasty. 
And there's one of their subs. They have a sub there. That's not good. No. Oh. Destroyer. I don't like that destroyers. I really need to get those destroyers destroyed. Two six, I guess that's acceptable. Ten nice Inf infantry veteran. Okay, that Panther G took a bit of a beating. All right, that's that taken. place we have tons of prestige so that's not really an issue so one there's Brits there hmm. alrighty we do have supply now which is nice you come in and land here. Why don't you finish that off? And you can come over here and start working on that. Plus two to soft attack. Nice. Let's move over here. Hummel, I actually don't mind you embarking and staying right there. Pioneer. Grenadier. Just duke. And another stuk. And a hummel. So you can. If you move up here, then you can come up behind there. And you can come up behind there. Stuk. Come in there. Our flat guy we can come in here. And then we have a home left. Which will stick in here. Alright, our units have landed. The Italians not so much because they went the wrong way. And we still need to protect the Graf Zeppelin, because we don't have an airfield yet. And that's kind of dangerous. Uh, let's see, you come up here and destroy him. You come down here and start working these destroyers. Mm, zero one might actually be worth starting to work that um, coastal fort. Right, we need to take out those destroyers. Hipper can't really reach anything. And that's because of you. We need to take you down. Damn it. Zero three. 
who didn't finish it. There. 3 1, don't like that. We're gonna attacking that coastal fort. Look, we're we're gonna take two casualties, and we're only gonna suppress two. So we might as well just do this. All right, uh, aircraft. We're gonna leave you there. One four. Uh, uh, one three. Zero six. Then we're not going to leave you there. We're going to send you in here. So one five turned out to be zero four. All right, and then you can come in here and help. You come up here now. Can we bomb anything we can actually and have cover? So we're gonna do that. But that's it. So you two are staying there. Uh, we have a sub that hasn't moved. That's you. I think I'm gonna pull you back and start working here. Do a bit of damage there. You haven't moved. I wish I could get you in front of the subs. You haven't moved. I can get you in front of the subs. You moved. You can move the Bismarck. Mm. I think I'll leave the Bismarck there. You haven't moved the Königsberg. Let's pull you a little bit back. And then we have the Graf Zeppelin, which I don't really want to move. So that's the turn. Four. Those planes do a lot of damage to our ships, man. But there's not really much we can do about them. They're too well defended. They are too well defended. Don't mind their destroyers attacking my destroyers. That's absolutely fine. Though they do have a, they do have a, a sub that I need to deal with. All right, three nine. One four. We are taking quite a bit of damage on those attacks. Right. That was nice. Okay. Ships. 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 One one. All right, good, 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 good. 
Uh, we have one, two. Suppose I'll take that. Okay. Who hasn't fired yet? Seems like all of you down here have fired, except of course my subs. And I need to get rid of that before I can really do the subs. I only did one. Damned Italians. Nothing personal to Italians, just in this one case. They were supposed to do three damage and they did one. Okay, uh, let's see this sub. Two, 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 two. All right, zero one, that'll work, but it didn't work. Zero one, that'll work. And it did work, good. All right, that thing is gone, which means you can move down. You can move down a bit. Now, our subs here, I really want, okay, zero two on you. I'll take that. It wasn't true though. Three one. But zero three here, I'll take. And then we have this sub here, which will come up this way and start helping. Now these ships can actually come down this way and start helping as well uh, the italians i don't want to deal with right now uh, we do have a fighter up there so let's see three five or three three four that's three five two five okay that's better one four And then zero one. Nope, not over there. Over here. All right. Another aircraft down. It's kind of nice, I guess. Hmm, sure. Three, I'll take that. And then you can overrun them. And then start firing on those guys. Okay. Suppose we'll start bombarding you. Uh, I think actually let's replace you. Uh, let's over on you. Start working you. Nine zero doesn't seem like a good idea well, you already fired that's why uh, let's pull you back can you get all the way up here you can which means you can get in there it's a lot of air cover there you come up here Send this pioneer up here together with that pioneer and this pioneer here will go down towards New York together with the other one. Alrighty. 
don't think I want to move you. Let's pull you forward and do some scouting. Okay. Now, the sooner we can take an airfield and uh, a supply hex in New York, the better. So we really want to take New York City here, get Gustav deployed if we can. I'm not sure that we can. I hope we can. Hmm. Let's move you in there. Or, yeah, move you in there. Okay. You haven't moved. I don't want to move you. There's an anti tank thing there. All right, let's land this Italian infantry. The anti tank and the anti air. All right. And that's the turn. And it's also going to be the episode. Because we are around 45 minutes in, I think. So well, that seems like a good place to end it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.